guys, I'm Felicia and I'm currently in Norway. In this video, I'll be speaking more of the Malaysian accent. Ever thought like the grass is greener on the other side? And recalling the first time you step out of the country, you're so excited about everything new that you've never seen or experienced out of Malaysia before. For example, the four seasons. Snow, autumn colors, beautiful Angmo architectures, and blah blah blah. And then you also have this pride when you can wear a lot of this autumn clothes and jackets and those high boots out of Malaysia in those colder countries and you, you feel like, wow, so much Well, the truth is, after living out of Malaysia a while, definitely. If, if you're Malaysian, surely you got something you miss about Malaysia. Correct? Correct or not? Okay, first, those staying in UK and Australia can be much better than in Norway because I tell you, Norway is much more ulu than all these other countries. Less variety of Asian restaurants, supermarket and spices, so I have to cook everything on my own and it's so freaking expensive to eat out. Like seriously, more expensive than UK and Australia, you know. If you don't believe me, uh, you go see the cost of living in Oslo. Especially our currency is so bad right now, right? 100%, I tell you, 100% all the Malaysian people, if you ask them what they miss most about Malaysia, of course, like, Malaysian food! We have so much variety! Laksa, rendang, chicken rice, roti chana, nyonya, curry, naan. Uh, all this make me want to... So hungry already! Okay, another thing. Not only the food, lah. We also have easy access. Easy access to all this food, you know, like 24 hours. Easy access to ready-made food. 24 hours, you can go to Mama. Bang, roti canai please. Ah, bang, tose. Ah, bang. And the thing about our Chinese restaurant, ah, Kopitiam in Malaysia, is that what I miss most is to order without a menu. You know, sometimes ah, when you are in overseas, ah, you go to a restaurant, hey, ah, first thing, give you menu. Then you have to look. Ah, which one to decide? Ah? Which one to decide? Ah? In, ah, you know, Malaysia, ah, when you go to all this Kopitiam, ah, you can just... Auntie. Before going there also, your, your mind already like thinking mm, I already know what I want, I So uh, you can order food uh, within seconds, you know, you just go there, go order uh, Then you get a food already la. Why do you wait, 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 think, 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 what to order? I always time already, but my stomach so hungry, <laughs> no time to wait la. I know lah, restaurant much more glamour ma. Malaysia also got one, but Malaysia, you lucky don't know what to decide Because uh, the choices is more crazy and yeah. you, you open one time the menu, uh, you're like which one? Which one? And then you talk, 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 you decide. Which one? You want this one? This one good? No, this one. Yeah, try, 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 try. So, uh, Malaysia also very good. We have a lot of variety. Even restaurants also a lot of variety. You go Norway, ah, yo. Menu, pop, pop, pop. Just few dishes come out. Ayo. I tell you, uh, in Norway also, uh, the the menu uh, for one page of the book, ah, uh, this small. I think uh, about five, six page can already. Some are uh, even three page gao team. Plus, you don't have to give tips. Okay, another one. Next. What the Malaysian miss most is also we miss our Malaysian accent. Even though some of them uh, don't speak like Angmo accent, uh, they also speak like normal Malaysian accents to the Angmo. Uh. Then the Angmo got problem understanding, so they have to speak kind of proper Malaysian English without the Lama, Black, Black, Noah, all this mix. Not only accent, uh, our Manglish uh, is amazing because we mix uh, so many languages in one sentence. No, uh, three languages only. Uh. Chinese, English, Malay. Coming to Oslo, so remember my first time going for Bloomberg exam and then I met this like Asian girl there also. You know in Norway when you see another Asian girl, you always assume they are Vietnamese because there are a lot of Vietnamese that came here long time ago and settled down here. So she looked also quite tan like me. So she thought I was Norwegian, I also thought she was Norwegian since we both speak Norwegian. I asked her where she's from, she said she's from Singapore. Hola, I'm so happy! Straight oh. away, let go my Malaysian accent. Jom makan, go makan! You know, instantly you got the feeling, you know, like Let it go la, let it go la Our Malaysian accent is very good Let it go la, let it go la <laughs> Not only that one, what we miss, you know We miss uh, when you go to the restaurant uh, Or you just meet somebody uh, You can just simply call them a name, you know Norway especially you Hey mister, hey miss Or call by the name But you know, I'm very bad with the name one, you know I cannot remember the name In Malaysia, very easy only Anh chai, leng lei Boss Auntie, uncle, ane, ane. Which is anyone on the street you don't know or you just meet like a stranger. It feels so close when you just call somebody selling chicken rice. Auntie, uncle, leng so, leng sam. It's very easy to have a simple conversation. People not so shy to talk and tell about themselves or their life. You always think uh, Malaysian alcohol very expensive, right? All the country uh, come to Norway. Uh. Norway is largely expensive. More expensive than in Malaysia, you know. Of course, la. so I miss buying cheaper alcohol. La. Plus, 
petrol and tow and also Uber. Oh, much cheaper. Ayo, transportation ah, you know, it's so expensive. Okay lah, we all very cheap lah, Malaysia. So come to know, we're not, not used to it already. And also ah, this one I miss about when we driving in Malaysia, you know. When you drive in Norway ah, everyone follow the rule. They follow one lane. They very quiet. They concentrate. They talk about normal topic. No one, no bad driver that go cut the queue whatsoever like that. No, no, no road rage. But in Malaysia ah, we got so many traffic jams, so many road rage. So ah, another driver just cut in ah. I like the fun, you know. Every time ah, we can curse in the car. Wow, chilaka, but tau, this one go cut my queue. Ayah, no, this one. So it's just lots of emotions when you're driving. Ah, but in Norway, it's like, eh, boring. Just talk about daily lifestyle. <coughs> one more thing also. You know, I'm in Malaysia. One more thing, you can speed like crazy. You can speed because you know, okay, got camera here. Okay, then you slow down. Then after another part, you don't have to speed, right? So you go faster, right? But then ah, in Norway, ah, very smart one, you know. They have camera on both ends. So if let's say, ah, you speed in the middle, you go a bit faster, and they calculate ah uh, the journey which you take, which means ah uh, you they calculate your time here, you calculate your time here. No matter how ah, uh, if you pass the camera, you go slow, and then you go here very fast also ah. Uh, you know lah, maths lah, they will calculate. You still fast because ah uh, they know the average time eighty kilometer per hour ah. Uh, you have to take this kind of time to reach from this end to the other end. If you faster than that ah. Uh, Ah, speed lah, caught you lah, pay fine. Ah, and the fine more expensive one, you know, more expensive. Wah, sing kiang, heart so bad. Okay lah, this is what I miss lah. I miss lah wearing ah, one layer, <laughs> one layer of clothes. You know, t-shirt, pants like that. You know, sometimes when you're in autumn or winter, at first lah you come, you feel like, wah, so nice ah, so fashionable. I can wear jacket, leather jacket, leather boots, look so... So trendy. Oh shit, when you come to winter, you don't wear one layer, you wear three, four layer. Cold until uh, your, your buttock numb. And your face numb, I tell you, your face like... I cannot do my cheap. Plus, you think uh, overseas, uh, very low maintenance, man. very high maintenance, you know. You think very cheap to buy all this coat and then boots. Because uh, all these things uh, is very necessary in life. For example, you need to buy extra winter underwear, you have to buy snow boots, rain boots. Raincoat, thick socks, thin socks, glove, hat, scarf. So many things you have to buy. Okay lah, nice lah for fashion. But all these are uh, you accumulate ah. Uh, wow, so expensive for. Oh. Tell you ah, uh, even you want to walk out of the balcony also, you need to extra coat standby ah. Uh, if not ah, uh, cool. Lastly, I want to say, you know ah, uh, Malaysia very lucky. You know, we have so many festive holiday of to celebrate different kind of race. India, Malay, Chinese. When you come to Norway, ah, you don't have this Chinese New Year feeling, especially in the shopping mall. You no, know, the shopping mall ah, in Norway, ah, you can imagine right Christmas. They would have a lot of Christmas songs. Jingle bell. Yeah, in Mid Valley, in Pavilion also we have all these jingle bell songs and all those Christmas songs. Norway also ha, don't have ah, don't have all these Christmas songs. I also don't know why why you know. I thought ah, Christmas song gives the feeling. You know what? Because they got snow already what? They got this winter feeling already what? So kau tim lah. But then ah. For Chinese New Year, Deepa Bali or Hari Raya, nothing lah, you know, nothing, no holiday. You don't get invited to friend house makan. But because during Chinese New Year in Malaysia, we got open house, Deepa Bali open house. Then you can go eat all you want, free food, right? So nice. But then here you don't have. I tell you, it's not easily to get invited into a Norwegian house, not like in Malaysia. You know Malaysia, some of your friends long, long time didn't see ah, your school time. Suddenly invited, hey, come, come for my wedding, hey, come for my house, open house. No way ah. No such thing, you know, you must generate a good friendship, always keep in touch, blah blah blah. Then they would think you're special, they only invite you into the house. Not very easy, one, you know. Okay, that's all that I miss about being in Malaysia when I'm living abroad. And if you're a Malaysian and you do agree with me, or if you don't agree with me, also do let me know because everyone has different opinion, different preference, and different likes, right? And those are uh, those Malaysian, uh, you see my other videos, uh, you know I always speak the Amor accent, uh, it's because they cannot understand my Malaysian accent. Okay, if you're not Malaysian, uh, you prove to me, like, you write down here in this comment, can you understand what I am saying or not? My Malaysian accent is not so good for people to understand because I like to let it go. This is what I usually say, like that. I say very Chinape <laughs> style. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye bye, and if you're curious to check out on other stuff I talk about Malaysia, Norway, or Hokkien, just check out these other videos I have below if you want. <laughs> bye bye!